So, a very interesting uh, presentation, uh, full of energy and a uh, lot of uh, initiative from TNPL. Thank you very much. Uh, so, now uh, we open the floor for the questions and uh, please uh, raise your hand so that uh, we can have some. Uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah. Uh, Good morning. I'm uh, Parito Sarai from uh, Heather Water. Uh, my question is to Mr. Madan. So, for changing the motors, old motors, they have selected IE3 and IE4 grades. Why you have not jumped to IE5? What was the cost was the reason or availability was the reason? Actually, availability was the reason. In India, still IE5 motors are not available. And uh, equipment which we are importing from the outside country, from the other countries or European countries, we are getting IE5 motor with them. But uh, right now, we have not availability of I-5 motor in India. So now that's why we are talking about I-3 and I-4. And our system should be capable to cater that requirement of I-5 also. So accordingly, we have to improve our system. Then only we can install I-5 motors. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Hi, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Shantabha Pandian, uh, the director of AI and data from uh, Roland Technology uh, UK. Um, so my question to the transformation of uh, impact uh, AI for Dr. Cloudy, uh, it was interesting one. So I'm willing to like, what you mean, like motivating the team uh, to like adapting uh, the AI India across all the industries. So you mentioned that, so you are taken like the charge demand, right? So for this, so what are the future engineering aspects and hyperparameter tuning aspects like? So what are the action taken from your side to build this model? Uh, sorry, come again. To, to build this model, so what are the future engineering and hyperparameter tuning aspects like what are the actions you are taken on this specific model to build? For the specific model, so uh, what we did was the initial thing was establishing the trend, right? Like establishing that there is a correlation, that was the very first thing what we did. And the model was uh, the selection of the first model, that's an SVR model, the first one. And the second was K-means, okay, these are very simple fundamental models. So we yeah. checked with that because this, uh, if you look at it, it doesn't need a, a large fitting. You know, it's, it's very uh, straightforward in this particular case. That's why we wanted to show that, hey, if we take one uh, simple example and show that this is doable, then we can, you know, add on to our. So this one, per se, the charge demand one, the model is complete. It's completely out there. It can be, uh, you know, implemented anywhere where they have a charge analyzer. You know, so initially there will be a training uh, s study, and then there will be implementation. Now going forward, uh, the idea is to include more such parameters and find proxies True. where you know this is an industrial uh, requirement. So if they come up with it, we'll definitely uh, have solution for that. Excellent. So do you have ML ops in the system to monitor the pro progress and performance? Yes, yes, yes. So so the AI engine, I what I. Uh, what I'd mentioned, yep. Haber has an AI engine, mm. uh, which comes with all of these, uh, you know, all of these processing, everything. So there's an edge device, there's an AI engine, and it does everything on its own. So that's already there. So okay, the last one question is: Is in cloud implementation or like it's so both? Both. We have, we have. Uh, so these kinds of things, you you don't have to go to the cloud, but okay. there are these, uh, you know real-time video analysis that we have. So that's done in the cloud, you know, because these are, these are very uh, intense uh, processes. OK. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, good morning, everyone. My name is Tajinder B. Singh from XCAMP. Uh, my question is to Madan, sir. So first of all, thank you very much for a detailed presentation. As you mentioned in the presentation that you have changed the blower uh, in the ETP, and there is a wonderful improvement in DO. So it was just changing the blower or need to change the injector system or anything else in the system? No, we have not changed any injector system in the ATP, but only the blower we have changed. We have increased the capacity. Earlier, uh, we were running around 7,500 meter cube per hour. Now our uh, air capacity is around 9,000 meter cube per hour. And uh, giving more air we, in the aeration tank, we are maintaining the DO level. Earlier, we were not uh, able to maintain the DO level in our aeration tank. Now with this technology, we have a VFT drive also, so we are consistently maintaining the DO level in our aeration tanks with this technology. Okay, thank you so much. Sir. Right. Hello. Sir, I am Kannan uh, from Sheshrai Paper Voucher Limited. 
திருநெல்வேலி யூனிட் மை கொஸ்டின் இஸ் டு நரேஷ் மதன் சார் ஹலோ சார் ஆக்சுவலி வென் வி டாக் அபவுட் ஐஏ ஐஏ ஃபோர் மோட்டார்ஸ் எனர்ஜி எஃபிஷியன்சி த எனர்ஜி எஃபிஷியன்சி மோர் மீன்ஸ் வாட் ஐ வாட் ஐ அப்சர்வ் மீன்ஸ் த ஸ்பீட் ஆஃப் த மோட்டார் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் ஹையர் தென் லோயர் எஃபிஷியன்சி மோட்டார்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் கன்சிடர் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் கிலோ வாட் பம்ப் வி ஹவ் அண்ட் தட் பம்ப் டெலிவரி நாட் மேட்சிங் ஆல்வேஸ் நாட் மேட்சிங் ஆஃப் த அவர் ப்ராசஸ் ரெக்யர்மெண்ட் ஸோ தேர் வில் பி எ ஸ்மால் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் த்ராட்லிங் ஆஃப் வால்வ் டெலிவரி வால்வ் இன் சச் பொசிஷன் Uh, it is already the valve is throttled if you put energy efficiency motor means the pump speed will be more and more uh, liquid will be pumped and again we will throttle the uh, valve more so here we will again uh, we lost the energy in the form of in the form of friction head so in this uh, case shall we go for uh, i vfd or uh, we suggest uh, energy efficiency motors yes you are right if uh, you are throttling your uh, pump uh, valve and the delivery valve if you are throttling then definitely you will uh, lose the energy even with the ie4 motor first of all your pump capacity should be as per the requirement of uh, your process and with ie4 motor if you will go with the drive definitely there will be a saving but throttling should not be there okay okay sir so then, then only we, you will get the benefit if you are uh, doing the throttling in your pump and you are replacing high efficiency motor there is no use yes sir thank you okay, okay. right sir. good morning to all i am govind rajan from hever my question is to mr saravanan tnpl so in your slide that you told in a kiln in lime kiln you are given a logic in such a way whenever the talk goes up rises up it is like uh, we have to run in the reverse direction motor to run in the reverse direction till the torque comes down so my question is even if it is not come down even after running for a reverse direction the torque is not coming down what is the other logic or what it's something else you would have incorporated there to come out the issue yes that's what i said actually uh, it will, we have lo- implemented a logic that it will try for five shots that is if if the motor torque normally the vfd uh, what will happen is if it goes beyond 180 or 200% it will drip on over torque so we kept for up to 150% like for five shots so more than that the, uh, if it goes for six shot then the logic will be stopped That's what i said okay my question is the purpose not is the damper not not lift so any indicate for incompetent that no see see if it is going to be is going to be a severe jam say the the pressure we can't able to clear it so it is it is it is better to trip the equipment for safe guard so for initial initial uh, or uh, minor jam we can clear this good morning all this is radha krishnan from spb to this is to mr naresh sir sir uh, we have seen your excellent performance on the reduction of the ie motors or improvement in the ie motors have you done any case study because the electrical energy is going to help in the driving the whatever the fluid we take have you done any study on the pumping system because you are focusing only on the end which is going to driven the system have you done any case studies yes as our colleague was also saying that pump efficiencies or as engineering head you take care of the pump efficiency what is the minimum threshold you are maintaining now for the electrical motors we have that ie 3 4 5 but for pump efficiencies what you take care say it is maybe a liquid pump or any uh, fluid pumps for the mc pumps any special care you are taking in the near futures can you share your way forward sir yes definitely we have to look into the our pumping system also when we are replacing the motor definitely we have to audit our pumping system if we are replacing the motor with the pump definitely we have to do the audit of the pump also if your pump is efficient then you are replacing the motor with high efficiency motor then only you will get the benefit so parallelly we are doing the pump audit also the recently we have completed the motor audit and pre- uh, uh, we are doing the audit of our pumping system also collectively we will take the decision ki how much capacity we have to install after auditing if 
the motor capacity is required lesser than the existing one, definitely we will go with the less capacity motor uh, to get the better efficiency from the system. Because that is the system integration and we have to look into the total system, then only we will get the better uh, energy efficiency benefit in that. Good morning, my name is Raghavan. See, it is a request from Heber. So we are upgrading system from computer to say this one, uh, cloud and A. There are several chances for the risk. So what are the risk, man uh, risk expectation and risk management in this system? Because recently, the Microsoft uh, failure last week, no, lot of flights, the entire world is disturbed. This is a very huge, even daily around 60, 70 flights. So A fails, what is the next alternative? It is artificial intelligence, what is our intelligence going to do? So, so at Haber, we take uh, security uh, as a very important parameter. So what we have done is even, even for any of the system existing, right? So we have three different levels of uh, security channels. So one, it, it's not connected over the normal internet, you know? So if you have to get into our system, there are layers of security that you have to go in. That's on the breach kind of a site. The other side is data, right? So all the plants, they have very sensitive data being generated. So that's the storage of those data is, you know, all, all in encrypted format and all in multiple uh, hard disks. So, so that, you know, there is always a backup. Now that's with the story. Now uh, coming to the next stage of uh, when AI is doing something, right? It can definitely predict something wrong. So there are three different case scenarios, right? One is an external breach, we have measures for that. Second is the data storage and, you know, the security of that, we have measures for that. The third being whether the model prediction itself has, so with AI, the advantage is that uh, till the time you make sure that what you're feeding in is right, the AI will always give you faithful data. But the moment you have some error input coming in, it could be a scaling error, you know, instead of uh, milli, we have micro, something like that. Definitely there will be uh, problems, but there are enough uh, security checks that's uh, been kept in all, all AI systems. 